Hi, I'm Tim Martin. I'm an artist who loves to experiment and an earth science teacher who loves to explore. Through rock climbing and hiking, working in clay and photography, I'm always observing the natural world. If you're a student, teacher, or curious explorer, get ready for an adventure in science and art. When I was young, I had a poster hanging in my room that said, looking for one thing may lead you to another. I always thought it curious that some things in nature seem to be way out of place. So what brings me to the Rocky Mountains of Southern Wyoming? At over two miles above sea level, I'm looking for evidence of a shallow tropical beach environment. It would be hard to get more out of place than that. Today I'm 10,000 feet high in the snowy mountains of Wyoming. I'm in the Medicine Bow National Forest and Medicine Bow Peak is not far behind me. It's kind of curious, there's snow behind me, spring flowers in front of me, and it's nearly the end of July. I guess there's a reason why they call them the snowy mountains. But more interesting than that are these rocks here in front of me. This is a stromatolite. These rocks were formed on the ancient seafloor nearly two billion years ago. In fact, they're evidence of some of the earliest forms of life on the planet. These curved structures are part of pillow-like algae mats that grew in the ancient shallow seas, and they're partially responsible for the oxygenation of the Earth's atmosphere billions of years ago. For many years, these formations were not well understood. However, after discovering living examples in remote locations of Australia and Mexico, we now know these structures are formed by photosynthesizing colonies of cyanobacteria, some of the earliest and simplest forms of life on the planet. It's really neat for me to think about that this rock is evidence of life from two billion years ago. Thanks for watching, and I hope you join me again on another adventure.